Got a question, but do you remember why the fuck don't you review a bike that is a bit more value oriented, a bit pricey, on the cheap, on the pricey. Here we have a Reed Osprey Elite. This bike is $500. This Garmin is $600. This bike is cheaper than this Garmin. Let's get it out and check out what it can get for 500 bucks. This is a lot of people cut and waste it ties. Put a knife in there and then you just open them up like that. Just, and then that way well, you got zip ties to go. Zip ties to go. So there you go. Save so much zip ties. And a little seal. A seal I learned that from a, a, a multi-millionaire bike shop owner, Keith Wong. I was cutting the zip ties. I was, Holly, not cut. Smart, smart. Use a knife. And you sold both. So, thanks, Keith. Sold a lot of bikes to Keith. Good God of work And you save. I meant to say dolphin's nose. It's you getting save. Around dolphin's not, fucking so dolphin's much nose. We throw out so much plastic. You know? Yeah, that's right. It's a waste. So the bike's built up, took me about 10 minutes to build it up. If you don't have experience building a bike, then let the, let the local shop do it. The bars, first impressions, the bars fucking suck. I mean, they're, they're just like, there's nothing, this is anything I've got the bike so far, the bars. I would prefer like a nice shallow drop bar. It's a nice shallow drop. This bar is sort of like, it's not good. It's, it's got to reach out here. It's like a Superman bike. But otherwise, it feels pretty good. I put a drink bottle cage on there, put a pump on there, and I'm going to put a power meter on there. So let's get a power meter on this bad boy. So this bike comes with 170 mil cranks. I prefer 175, so I've got a triple ring I'm gonna put on. And I'm also gonna put my Durae Stages power meter on the other side. So here we have the 170. Cranks are on. <laughs> power meters on, that was meant to be pretty slow. <laughs> power meters on, pedals are on. Now you can see here, there's a little, there's a little, little derailleur cable. That's gonna happen on any bike. Can hear it when they're pedaling. That can often be a little derailleur cable, so just bend your back in like that. Perfect. So there you go. And also, I changed the seat because you can see the seat here, it's a bit of a setback. I like push forward position. That's his personal preference. It's not a band design here, it's his personal preference for me. So I'll put that little bad boy in the back there. So there we go. We're race ready. Got the cage on there, pump on there, power mid on pedals. This bike's pretty good. I just don't like the bars. The bars really they don't, they don't gel with me. Uh, bike comes with reflectors. I don't mind reflectors. I run lights, uh, but they have that for the sale reasons. Uh, fair enough. The cassette's only got a 25, but has a long cage saw on there, which can handle a 32 or even a 34. So if we keep this bike longer, I'll probably put a 32 cassette on there and make it a real fucking climbing rig. But other than that, the bike looks fantastic fucking value for 500 bucks. The only thing I don't like is it's only got a small 25 cassette in there. I would prefer a 32. And these bars. What are we doing with these bars? We hate the bars. We need some shallow bars. That's anything else looks fucking unreal for 500 bucks. Let's go and do it. So I've measured my seat height. I know my measurements. You can put me on any bike in the world. And if I've got a tape measure, I can measure. That fucking hurts. Oh. Um, <laughs> what I'm going to say is that, what do you want to see me do with this bike? It's 500 bucks. What am I going to fucking do with it? Write down below what you want to see Duran do on a $500 road bike. And people say, hang on, 500 bucks. I just paid, you know, 2,000 bucks or 500 bucks. Got my drive, got my special, got my trick. Why, am I, why did I just buy a phone on the bike? If you're buying a brand new bike for the first time ever, what you're paying for is a bike fit. Buying a bike online, you get it in your bike shop, what do I do with it? How do I find out how it fit, bro? So when you buy a bike from a bike shop that I recommend or a brand or whatever, you're buying a bicycle fit. You go in the shop, if I recommend, if you're shooting Adelaide, I recommend uh, Kim and North Adelaide Cycles or Ashley from the Giant Store. So what you're doing when you're going and buying a new bike, you're getting fitted up, you're measured out. A bike like this, it's a fantastic bike, it's good value, but if it's your first bike ever, I don't recommend buying it because it's bike fit. So if you can find a bike store that has a good bike fitter, then that's alright. But if you buy a bike like a pair of shoes, it's a bit different. So when you buy your first road bike, you pay a bit extra because you get your bike fit. And then once you learn your measurements, you can ride whatever the fuck you want to ride. Let's do it. So what, write down below, what do you want to fucking see me do on a $500 bike? Write down fucking below, let's fucking do it. And here's a website, readcycles.com.au. This is the 2014 model Osprey Elite road bike, and that's what I've bought with my own money. Uh, so this is a definitely a, a non-biased review, paid for it by myself. But looks to be an incredible bike for the money. I just got to change those bars. Those bars and me, we don't get along at all. <laughs>